On this incredible edition of Killing with Cubase, we're going to talk about audio editing. Uh, let's talk about audio editing in this uh, Cubase video. Um, I guess we can ditch this. And I'm, this is going to be heavily uh, shortcut based. Although you can use, if you look up here, they got like this scissors thing says split, glue, which joins two uh, files together to create one, the eraser, which just deletes it, uh, zoom, I don't ever remember even using that six. Yeah, I never really use Zoom, but because uh, I, I like the this thingy, which I guess we need to talk about eventually. But um, okay, so what we have here, if you look at this number where the arrow is, that's one. Of course, there's a few different gadgets in there. Two, as I just press with on the well, <laughs> this is number one on the on the keyboard, and if you go here, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, and seven, and then eight. And I don't use too many other. I don't even know what these, some of these others are. Oh, they're probably super useful and I'm missing out. But anyway, that's one of the things that I think drives uh, new people crazy. Um, let's let's listen to the just this Moog uh, bass track here. Okay, your usual kind of electronic music kind of machine gun sounding, uh, sounding gadget. Now, let's say we wanted to cut that up. I could, if you were new to this and didn't know better, well, hang on, fast forward or back up, pause something. We need to talk about snapping. Um, that this is a huge thing because you can see right now like this little line which has a fancy name and cursor maybe I don't know what it is. Um, right now it's free flowing and I can you can see even if I zoom in really far I can move it wherever I feel like and. Uh, that's useful for a whole lot of things. And I actually just needed it before on the previous tutorial on lanes when I was uh, early on all my one, two, three, four, five. And so I actually had to slide it when I was I had it exactly on beat because I was early, it didn't sound right. So anyway, we can also snap right here and it's relying on this little gadget to tell us where it's gonna snap to. And let's go and snap to bar first, just so you can see uh, how it obviously works. Now, if we get a little bit closer to that eight, it defaults there. So it's basically rounding uh, to the nearest bar, and you can just halfway click, and you'll get it close every time. And so, if we wanted to chop up bars, you can see that even for cutting, I said did that so fast, I don't even think about it. What I ultimately did there is I kind of clicked on split using the three, and went do do do, and that means I can. See, I think it's changed his note. Let's listen to what chord or notes that we're using here. Okay, what well, changes a little early, so musically this won't make a lot of sense. But okay, man, I'm I'm so instinctive on this that I have a hard time slowing down, and that's part of the point I'm trying to sell you on these shortcuts. What I did here was I wanted to mute this because I didn't want to hear it, so I pressed seven, which is this mute thing. Okay, and then I pressed one, and then I highlighted this. Now I don't. There's probably a way to copy this uh, with uh, out shortcuts, but I don't know how. I take it and I hold uh, Alt key down and I can drag anywhere I want and it will stick in time because it's locked into this grid thing right now. See, and it, I can shift it anywhere I want because it's on for each bar. And so if we just loop that, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, and that's something, but it you get the point. I wish I had a better musical example, but uh, too bad. Versus, okay, I just pressed seven again. See, I have to slow down so much for this. Um, okay, and then that's per bar, but we can also change it to beat. Now, which will be quarter notes then. So, one, two, three, four. So that what was just um, two chunks. Now we can go turn that into eight chunks because we've got two bars here. Okay, so um, that allows some, some pretty crazy stuff if, we, if we're so inclined. Let's just say we wanted to, I don't know, mute each one. Or either, either, or... That's got some use for something. Uh, or we can, we can take these and just uh, screw them up. Of course, this is all the same note, so um, if I want to go do, do, 
and then I'm pretty sure this is a different node. I can drag this here, and that's using the lanes again. Um, oh, before I drug that, I didn't see again. I used one, select select object normal, normal gadget, and did this. And see that it's just so intuitive once you get fast at this. So. You get the point that, so that by keeping this, this is assuming you're working with a song that's on a click, and uh, this is all uh, electronic music, so it's been heavily uh, quantized, and that, that makes this kind of editing really easy, and I think that's kind of how uh, Cubase started, and probably how rock bands started copying it, because they wanted to be more perfect, which is horseshit, but that's another another topic. Uh, my views are, if you're going to, yeah. Forget my views, you don't care. <laughs> and if you do, read my damn blog. Um, in the meantime, um, the point is is that we can do extensive editing um, within this time frame. I guess you could say uh, the framework of beats or bars. And you can also do use quantize, which is this little gadget. Now, what that basically uh, means is, is it, I say basically so damn often, it's annoying. Um, we can, now it'll go down to the 16th of a note. So one, two, three, four, and that was one was one beat, and so that allows us to do some kind of micro editing within this grid framework. Um, if we're if you don't use a click at all and you just hit record on a song, these bars don't mean anything. I mean that's important. Um, that when uh, I've got the click on, I press C, and then so we come in right now. Bow, 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 bow. Um, if you adhere to that, you get to use all these cool tools within, within Cubase, and there are good reasons uh, to do that with the whole click thing. But um, not all music needs it, and in fact, some music I think is is worse because of it. And uh, I guess it's it's, it's a I, I talk about that all in my uh, uh, book, which I guess I'll release some year. Uh, surviving and thriving in this BS recording studio business. Um, but anyway, um, it's a per client thing, but. So this, this kind of editing really only comes in super handy when you're using a click. But we the editing, if you turn off the grid, becomes pretty awesome uh, without it. And see, one thing with the grid on, this also allows, it, like, for example, these you see this these two here? Those are just copies of this first part. And that's that's electronic, whoops, that's electronic music thing, and it, it, it can work, but it, I say right now, the, the Oh, we're, 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 we're slid to a 16th, so I, I it end up in the wrong spot. Uh, switch it back to bar, and it'll it'll snap right in. Okay, and you can see how pretty quick this whole thing works. And all that was done while I'm speaking. I think it's important to note that I'm not even thinking while I'm editing. At least not thinking about Cubase. Okay, and so I definitely recommend you guys taking the time to learn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or whatever. I don't use 2 very much sometimes. But uh, six, I don't know. I think it's zoom. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, I guess we talked about that already. Okay, what other editing? Okay, let's go ahead and talk about. Let's go and create another track here. And um, where are you? See, once sometimes Cubase puts it in a weird spot. And I'm gonna call it my new track. And then you've kind of saw this on the lanes video, but um, the lanes I did use a click. I'm not gonna use a click for this part. I'm gonna. Um, although I guess it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, first we need to make sure we got our routing right. So vocal, which is my the correct thing for me. Arm it. I'm going to solo it because I don't care about anything else. Okay, and then the deal here, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to show you we, how we can edit without using the click. Um, basically, it, you, do, you can't really manipulate time too much. In other words, um, moving apart from the first verse to the second verse is pretty much uh, not going to happen unless the drummer just happens to be a machine, which I guess is possible. But um, I kind of just give up on the idea. I look at each section as, as its own thing, but what I can do is edit, I guess we could call it horizontally, and that, that's using uh, the lanes. Well, I guess it's exactly what I showed you in the lanes uh, video where we'll have one stack. Let's just go and do that again because it was so fun last time. One 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 all right i forgot to loop it it's looping stuff i'll show you later it's beyond the scope of editing i think two 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 
three. Man, you guys got to be bored out of your mind. <laughs> what the hell? How much I pay for this crap? All right. Anyway, um, so what we're gonna do is, all right, I'm no no snapping because we we're gonna pretend we have no click here. Well, we can still just go in there and highlight all this stuff, like just like that. Um, and I've cut this up now into four pieces because we have four. Uh, well, actually, three dubers. But anyway, um, and so it's real easy just to go. Do -do 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 like that, and then we should, well, ignore that guy, I guess, for now. I should go one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three. Now, what I'm trying to signify here, let's just hypothetically assume that this two, this is the wrong thing. Maybe it's supposed to go one, one, three. Like, uh, maybe this is a flat uh, note, or flat phrase, or and it could be any, you know, any length. It could be a huge thing or a short thing. Um, either way, we don't want it, so we push what I did there. I switched to seven. And said, "Dip." I muted, muted that guy. So, one, one, three. The point is, is let's pretend um, that we have one take, and then it, there were some flubs in it, and then we did the next take, and now we can go back and figure out exactly where the first take sucked. Um, in fact, I like to often drag the, the first or the best take to the bottom, so I know it's good and then actually activate all these guys although they're not active because technically active because they're not green they're not the ones being played because we can override it with this bottom guy but let's just listen and say one one like hey idiot, you're supposed to say two on the second one like oh okay well, okay maybe on the second take you got it so one three one okay i'm still an idiot but <laughs> you get the point here that one two one not Supposed to be three. There. So the, the the deal is is you can go through a good take, cut out anything you don't like, and it will actually automatically uh, do it. And the cool thing is is uh, these vocals, you know, always have a, an obvious stopping point because those humans have to breathe. You can't just go forever like you can say like a, a violin or maybe a bass guitar or something like that where you can hit it every time. So um, even those sustaining things work very, very well. Now that's up to the performance, whether it actually sounds good. Sometimes you gotta do it a few times and sometimes you need to go in there and let me show you this and do a quick little crossfade. See, at the moment, this hasn't really been cut. Well, maybe it has. Yeah, it has been cut. Okay, well, let's just say we erase the junk we don't like and sometimes we need to zoom in. Oh, see, there's a gap. That might make a click sound. Um, so just have them barely touch each other and push the X button and that's a crossfade and that solves it m most of the time and the only time it doesn't work is dog damn it the only time it doesn't work is when <laughs> um the, the performance itself has some reason it won't work and often doing that again is just you know can save it sometimes you actually have to move it around a little bit so you can just slide this little guy whoops where is that little weight well there's a weighted i don't know how to, even how to do it anymore there it goes i guess you gotta grab this red dude where uh one red dude, damn it, making me look stupid. There it is. Oh shit. Anyway, there's a point, way to do this where you can slide the whole thing over, or worst case, just do one. Like, okay, man, we'll try this spot instead. Oops. Stay there, and then X. Okay, so again, that shows you how fast it is. So I don't know if any if any of this rambling is of any help at all. I'm, I'm starting to think I'm a terrible teacher at Cubase, but uh, if you have any questions, again. Um, just uh, go ahead and go to the forum and uh, on record and review and, and, and post on the Cubase forum or email me or PM me or whatever, even though I'll probably direct you to back to the forum. Anyway, thanks. Bye.